All right, wanted to welcome everybody back from their break. Um, today, uh, you should be through the first three sections of Chapter 5. Um, many students find Chapter 5 a little bit easier than the earlier chapters, um, but it can be tedious. So you are looking at um, rules of exponents, which is a tedious part, polynomials, using FOIL, collecting like terms, things like that. Um, so but don't underestimate um, Chapter 5 test. Um, it can get a little tricky. Each test is cumulative, for one thing. So, But also, the you can make a number of mistakes when um, combining like terms, when working with rules of exponents. If you're trying to do x cubed times x squared, you've got to remember that you're, you're adding the exponents, things like that. That takes lots of practice, and that's why I've assigned a lots of problems in those two sections. Negative exponents are one of the trickier things that we do. One of the reasons is, is that you, you've probably never done it, or if you have, it's easily forgotten because they don't really um, do a lot of applications with negative exponents um, in the high school Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and it may have been a while since you've done that. The, one of the applications we use in this class is scientific notation, so make sure you pay close attention to that. That'll also come up in your other classes, biology, physical science, things like that. A couple other things, the quizzes. Make sure that you are getting those quizzes done on time. It's really important. I, I open them up after the due date, but you only get one attempt. If you do it by the due date, I give you five attempts and I take the highest one. So make sure if you don't do well on it that you redo it. And you only get that opportunity if you can get them done by the due date. The homework, those due dates are kind of soft due dates. Um, I hesitate to even say that, but I want this class to be simultaneously flexible, yet um, having uh, sort of benchmarks along the way to make sure you get done. In the past, I've done it where I didn't, everything was due the day of the test, but then, of course, you know, everybody works better with due dates, and some things didn't get done. So, what we're going to do is, um, if you miss a homework due date, you don't have to email me, you don't have to worry about anything, just do it the next day. Um, those homework due dates are really there to get you to do the quizzes on time. And to get the quizzes on time, you do all those in order to get the test done on time. All right? Um, what else? Um, each test, as I mentioned, is cumulative. And that should be no surprise because when you take the practice test, um, which you have to get at least a 50% on before you can take the subsequent, before you can take the actual test, it should remind you, oh, wait a second, I've got to remember stuff from, from chapter two or chapter three. So make sure that you understand that. Um, this this will help you out in the final exam. Once, once the final exam hits, hopefully everything will be somewhat fresh in your mind. You want to be relearning re everything. Um, make sure on the final exam that you go ahead and, and do this now. While, while we're thinking about it, go ahead and schedule the final exam. It must be done by, I want to say, August 8th or 9th. I can't remember. Whatever's on the syllabus, and make sure it's done by then. It cannot be done after then. So schedule it now so there are no scheduling conflicts. What, what happens sometimes is students wait till the day before, even the day of, to schedule it with the testing center, and it, it can't be done. Maybe they're, they're filled up at the, the two-hour block that you have, So and that's, that's not going to be an excuse. I'm letting you know now to go ahead and get that done, okay? So if you'll get that done this week, no later than next week. You need at least two weeks, particularly if you're taking an off-campus. Some of you took the midterm off-campus, which is fine, online class. We can do that. But some of you may have waited um, till the day, the last day to do it. And she needs, a, I think, at least a week in order to get that, that sort of set up with the proctor. Depends on the site, of course, but it's good to allow yourself that extra time. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I haven't had a lot of questions um, within the homework. So on the homework, there's an Ask My Instructor button. I do not mind at all helping with that. I'm actually pretty good at handling questions over email. Um, I've had a few, but not that many. So definitely email me. Now, uh, a lot of times when I get, I check my email on my iPad and iPhone, which unfortunately I can't use, um, I can't view your, your questions. So if you're going to send it, it's, it's, better, it's best if you can um, sort of type in the problem that's originally given. Um, if it's a graph or something, I can go to the computer, but I find I don't really use the computer a whole lot. Um, I ended up using my mobile devices, and right now my math lab's not set up for that. So if, you, if, it's, if it's relatively easy to do, just type the question in. You know, it's, it's asking me x squared times x cubed. I get x to the sixth. Why is the answer x to the fifth? Um, then I can respond almost instantly. I check my email. I'm a rabid email checker. So if you'll do that, 
um, you're most likely to get a response that probably within an hour. Um, if you if you're not able to do that, it, it it'll be within 24 hours because I'll see it and I'll make a note and then I'll go to the computer when I when I get a chance and and look at the problem and send it to you. Okay. Um, so email me if you have any questions about content and administrative um, items as well. Okay. It's been great working with you guys so far. Um, everybody's doing uh, pretty much everybody's doing all right on task and doing well. So um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to. Give me a, a call. It's best, though, if you give me an email. I'm not in my office um, at irregular times. I'm in here right now, um, but I'm not here at a regular set time. So, um, so that's it.